So again, we're looking for the equation of a perpendicular line, given the equation of a line and a point that is contained in the perpendicular line. And we're asked to write the equation in slope-intercept form. The line that we're given is y equals 1. And we're told that the point that our perpendicular line contains is negative 5, 1. So let's go ahead and draw a sketch here real quick of what we're given. We're given y equals 1. Well, that's a horizontal line at y equals 1. And we're told that our perpendicular line contains the point negative 5, 1. So this is negative 5, 1. Well, if our perpendicular line, if our given line is horizontal and we want a perpendicular line to it, well, it's going to be vertical. So our slope given, the slope of the given line is m equals 0. So that tells us that the slope perpendicular is going to be undefined. It's going to be a vertical line. Perpendicular to vertical is horizontal. Perpendicular to horizontal is vertical. And then our point, x1, y1, equals negative 5, 1. So using our point-slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, it's not going to work in this case because our slope, our perpendicular slope, it's undefined. It's a vertical line. So what we need to fall back on is similar to what I described in the last part of the, the triad exercise where we were given a vertical line. Anytime we're given a horizontal line and we're asked to find the equation of a line perpendicular to it through a specific point, it's going to be, in this case, our x-coordinate. Which you can see from the graphs that I drew over here. This is x equals negative 5. So anytime we're given a, a horizontal line, y equals 1, and a point, negative 5, 1, the equation of our line is just going to be the vertical line that is the x at the x-coordinate. So x equals negative negative 5. 